It's Friday. Finally. Woo. Been an adventurous week. It has been. It's been yeah. a good week, though. It has. It's been a very productive week. Yeah. I had a little issues with some plane trouble coming home, but we made it. Hey, if you ain't had a 24-hour flight to Vegas, then you ain't had nothing. <laughs> Well, luckily, when we got to Nashville, the plane that brings me home from Tampa was in Nashville. They had some issues with uh, not having a generator. Nice. So it took them several hours, but they finally got it going, and we got home. And <laughs> life's good. It there just kind of sucked because I didn't have any dinner or anything like that until last night. So this morning, McDonald's was very, very good. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. That's it. Well, everybody well, liked the bump box from yes. the comments. The, the bump and, box comments were hot. And I actually got to fix my screw up on that because I didn't order enough. We actually sold the two that we had the very next right. stop last week. So we called in and they had four or five more, and we told them we wanted them. So that we got them, we got right. them in yesterday, and of course we threw them on here, and I don't think they'll last the other day, but we'll find out. We'll see. There you go. And uh, I have uh, I saw where some distributors have found out that if you have a newer iPhone, that you need to go into the headphone safety feature. Um, apparently they've got a feature on there where it will protect your ears from high music. Uh -huh. So when you Bluetooth to them, if you don't cut that off, it'll it'll keep the sound down lower than what uh, it's meant to be at. So huh. if you have cool. a newer iPhone and you bought one and, and you're having a little problems with the sound, check that out. Other than that, we ain't had any issues. And that's not really an issue. That's right. just getting the settings right. Um, I imagine it's still pretty dang loud. But, oh, yeah. Uh, even yeah. with that setting <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. But uh yeah, I, I think uh I think Bonk Box did right and made something nice, which they always do, but yeah. um I like them. Everybody likes when they can get something yeah. uh, with great quality, so I know the pictures you posted was cool. I had the blue lights going on with it. So. Well, that would be her. Uh, yeah. She she does all that. I'm not very good with the camera, so. Yeah. I think we said last week we'll, uh, we'll let the person with the strong suits do that. That's so. absolutely right. That's what we've been doing. <laughs> yeah. We have been showing our, uh, we've got some new, y'all know, I, we talked about it a while back that we were joining with Kershaw. Uh-huh. So, we had three knives released at the time that we talked last time, and they actually sent us our next shipment. Uh, so let me grab those. If you need to shave, they got that one there. That's interesting. Now, we have sold one of them, um, so we're one short, but if you like Kershaw, your Maco distributor should have these because these were sent out. And we're gonna have some more release too. It's gonna right. be like a, a slow release, but um, good quality knives, uh, and they're they're the new ones that we've been able to get a hold of. So I think everybody uh, likes a good middle of the road um, because knives is one thing that you can get either super cheap, oh, like yeah, uh, crazy expensive. Yeah, this one here is like what is this one like twenty bucks? This one's like twenty bucks, sixteen bucks, um, and then these have been averaging around eighty. Um, and then you can get some that are 200, 300, 400 dollar dollar knives. So you're not going to sell a whole lot of those on a tow truck. So we try to stay middle of the road. We try to have some of ours that are, uh, cheaper in price. Mm -hmm. Um, which I mean, these are too, these, the, these here are probably 39, $49. They're not much. Um, they get the job done, but then if you want to step up to a little bit higher quality, uh, pay a little bit more, you got these. So that blade design on that one is definitely interesting. We this has sparked a lot of conversation on this one. Um, shaving's been the number one thing that everybody said that they could see that blade for. I guess the old barbershop knives is what brought that in, but it's thin. Uh, I don't really know 
the purpose of that knife. But uh, like they say, everybody has a seat, so mm -hmm. it'll be for somebody. May not be for everybody, but it'll be for somebody. I think it's thin. It ought to be easy to keep sharp. <laughs> well, it is, yeah. And uh, somebody was pointing out that it's actually made out of the D2 steel. Uh -huh. uh, and that's that's one of his favorite steels for knives is the D2 steel. Um, said it's higher quality. Uh, but either way, uh, if you're looking for knives, they do have some newer mm -hmm. ones out. Now, your distributor may have sold out already, but if so, he can reorder. Just right. tell him you want one. There you the go. Next thing that's new this week is our gloves. We do have these were automatically sent to us. Um, gloves is something we don't talk a whole lot about. Yeah. Not everybody wears gloves. Some people do wear gloves. These have full knuckle protection on them. Um, they've got a four-way stretch material. They're also double padded in the palm to help with durability and help last longer. Mm -hmm. But they're also touch screen. Um, oh, that's crazy! Capable, that thick, that thick, and yeah. it is touch screen compatible. So uh, we don't have to take them on and off. I know uh, that's a big thing when uh, gloves kind of started really getting popular in the mechanic world. Was you had right. to take them off, pull your phone out, change mm -hmm. your music, do whatever, answer a phone call. So there's a lot of gloves out there that are touch screen compatible. These are too. So if you're looking for nice. a good pair of gloves, they are four way stretch material. So. The they do. I like the orange too. Right, yeah, and they are breathable. That's something else. Um, when you get a thicker glove, normally they're hot as all get out. Yeah. And I'm not going to say these are going to be air conditioned, but yeah. they are breathable. <laughs> so um, that's good. Just something, you know, I. you have to get used to working with gloves. Mm -hmm. That's something different. If you've never tried to put a lug nut on with gloves oh, yeah. and you think you're fast, just give it a try. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know nascar does everything at hyper rate speed anyway yeah. and then they got all their fire protection on and their lug nuts are built in the their gun yeah kind of wish <clears throat> it was like that and the i thought they was, they kind of silicone them to the rim mm, i thought they i don't know i may be wrong on that they may do that yeah that's um, what i thought i know they used to run them on like compressed nitrogen or something you know yeah. those guns they weren't really like pneumatic guns yeah i mean there were pneumatic guns but somebody thought about hey if we hook it up to a nitrogen tank it'll like be supercharged <laughs> everything's supercharged in nascar right i'll look into that i i hadn't really thought about that on the uh, being on the rim yeah um, i think they they silicone them to the wheel and then when they put it up there they just, just ram her home okay like yeah. my look i would strip that thread and my guy would go out there and somebody heat him and have a flat and then <laughs> yeah um <laughs> i'm sure there's a lot of practice there um, oh yeah a lot of precision but uh, that's a crazy sport too man spending yeah, that much money and then just like all the way I, I was watching an instagram short the other day and it was showing uh like dale earnhardt he was standing there with like four nascar officials and they was weighing his car he was taking his That's foot it. and putting under the front corner and picking up when they wouldn't look, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, that, those guys figure out a way to get an extra little bit every time. Well, you know? if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I think I've heard that before That's in right NASCAR. Yeah. But uh, the only thing I don't like about NASCAR now, and other people may argue with me here, and that's fine. Everybody has their opinion. I don't like now that they split it up. Yeah. I liked I liked when they started mm -hmm. and it was start to finish. I mean yeah. it just had a little bit more competitive edge to it. You know, there's two things that I love to turn on on like Sundays and have a lazy day and nap in and out. You know, you sleep for like thirty minutes and wake up and watch a little bit of it sleep. There's nothing better than golf and NASCAR to watch. Yeah. For that all day nap. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. I just think it. Get, I mean, I don't really watch a whole lot of NASCAR, but yeah. um, as a bigger guy, I, it, in my head, it's like, wait a minute now. If we're gonna stop this race three times, I'm not trying hard the first two times. Yeah. But now that third time, I'm gonna give it all I got. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that you win so many points each. Sure. Each thing, but. Uh, yeah, I'm like you. I like it when a guy's like down and he's fixing to get laps, so he's just like, you know what? I'm taking a couple guys out. That's it. Because, <laughs> I mean, That's face it. it, dude, you watch hockey for the fights, really. Right. And you watch NASCAR for the wrecks. Yep. 
I mean, that's, that's what it is. I mean, NASCAR can put you to sleep if you're not careful. Oh, yeah. Um, because you're going around in this, well, mostly a circle. I know they've mm-hmm. got some tracks that uh, are definitely. Um, what, which one did we watch the, the other day where they were downtown somewhere? Oh, that was the Chicago race. Chicago, race, yeah. yeah, that mm-hmm. was a little different. Uh, it was a little bit more, you know, stay awake. They See, have if touch. I want to watch that kind of stuff, I'd rather watch the Formula One, like when they oh, race yeah. through Las Vegas and all that. Yeah. You know, I want to see them. And I think what they should do with NASCAR is like do away with all the restrictor plates and everything. Right. right? If you got the cojones to sit in that car and let her rip, you win. There you go. Like, you know, if you want to put nitrous on that bad boy and use it for the last mile, hey, if you got it in you to do it, just <laughs> hammer down, buddy. But know the repercussions that may happen. Like, right. Yeah. You may be a quarter mile long greasy spot before it's all over with. Like, there's guys that'll do it, too. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, hey, we'll, I mean, we'll do it, buddy. There's people doing it on the weekends yeah, all the time. Yeah, for free. With yeah. their own money yeah. and their own, like, they built the whole car. That's it. And uh, I'm not going to say that it's completely legal, but there is people yeah. out there that don't care, and mm-hmm. they give it all they got. And fun to watch. Absolutely. It is sure. fun to watch. It's kind of like those motorcycle guys you see in... Like when you go to Tupelo or Memphis and they're like popping wheelies and then they run between the cars like yeah. a red light. They'll be like a mile long, you know, a bunch of traffic backed up and they're doing like 60 between the cars. Like I'm the guy that's like, boy, I'd love to open my door. Just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I would never do that. But like those guys, they're, uh, they're pretty brave. They they're some idiots in this world. There's some straight up idiots in this world. Yeah. Wow. I'm just uh, not one. Well, if somebody's not messing with me, yeah, I don't mess with. And uh, right. well, what I'm saying is, uh, like the whole if if you want to go out there and do what you want to do, do, do what you want to do. That's it. If it don't affect me, I'm not worried about you because you're not worried about you. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to do that, hey. but I'm also the guy that if you hit my mirror when you're going by there and you stop well, two car lengths I... ahead of me, you'll meet me. Yeah, I promise you'll meet. That's what I said. As long as you don't affect like, I'm me. I'm going to bust your helmet. I'm going to take the hammer that I keep under my seat or whatever, <laughs> and I'm going to hit you right on top of the head with that helmet on. That's and then what... when you hit the ground, I'm going to monkey stomp the crap out of you. As long as you, long as you don't mess with me. As long as you don't interfere or put me at danger. Exactly. Um, and I'll deal with more of me, but when you put my family in danger, that's where we got an issue. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, it is. There, there's definitely a bunch of idiots in this world for sure. And it seems like most of them move here. <laughs> you ever notice that? Like when you're here and you see a wreck out here in our town, because everybody knows everybody here, right? Yeah. If you see a wreck here, it's always somewhere else that came here. Yeah. It's an Alabama tag or out of county tag or something like that. Because I know you guys know, like in your area where you live, there's a couple of vehicles when you see them, you're like, oh no, I better scoot all the way over here. That's right. right. <laughs> like everybody knows everybody here. That's right. I've always said our county had 50% of the best drivers in the world to dodge the other 50% that just absolutely can't drive. That's right. <laughs> so. That's how it works in this small town. <laughs> well, the only yeah. time we get through off is if they change a the vehicle for a little while, but it don't take long to learn that one either. That's true. <laughs> I can hear it now. Hey, uh, just so you know, so and so got a new vehicle. Okay. Yep. Keep your eye out. That's it. Or so and so's kid started driving. That's you remember it. how they used to be on their bicycles? <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Oh boy. Uh, we ventured off from tools, but hey, if you, if you live in a small town, you know exactly what we're talking about. That's right. I wouldn't have it any other way. Nope. All right, guys. It's Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Thankfully, it's here. Hit that thumbs up if you like it. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed. Take your finger, click that button. See ya.